the LA Kings have rolled out their new slash old look. Yeah, they're uh, bringing back a little bit of the retro feel, the old crown that you see right there as Quinton Byfield is modeling the home look. They've got these sweet matte black helmets, and then their away look will be the white helmets modeled by the one and only Philip Deneau, who is kind enough to join us now. So, Phil, let's just start right there. You've known about these these new threads for a while. Uh, what are your thoughts on the new look? Love him. Absolutely love him, for sure. Uh, a little change uh, won't hurt us. And um, you know what I like the, the most about the, the old school we had with the shiny helmets was the logo, for sure. And then to bring it back full time, is um, it's awesome. And just, uh, yeah, just a little bit of old school with a new school. So it's uh, really cool. Phil, you guys are going to be looking a lot different next year, looking sharp and, and maybe looking a little bit different as well on the ice. We've seen some changes within the organization, even over the last week, and who knows what's ahead. How much attention do you pay at this time of the year around the draft uh, to see what's going to happen and who your teammates are going to be next season? Lots of attention, uh, for sure. Um, it's... The draft's always a big moment for whether you get drafted or a trade or um, some, you know, the, the the free agent as well coming up. So big week, and obviously we 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 all know we we were not uh, happy with our year, and uh, we want to move forward and uh, get better as a team. And Blakey's doing everything he can, I'm sure, uh, to get us better. And um, here we are. So we're really a couple days into the full uh, off season for everybody. Uh, when once the cup's presented, uh, where are you at right now with your off season? When does you really kind of kick your off season into high gear as far as training, getting back on the ice? Tough to talk about getting back on the ice in late June, but uh, it won't be long before you'd be doing that. Where are you in your off season? I just started the ice actually, and uh, now we talk about it um, last two days. Um, I got a lot of things uh, to work on and uh, to get better in my uh, in hockey for sure still and uh, even though I'm 31 years old I can still be better and a lot of things I can do to improve uh, myself and get better for my team um, but I started working out probably uh, a month uh, a month ago probably. And we're, we're showing some video here of you lighting it up for the Kings this season. As you mentioned, um, this wasn't the kind of result you guys envisioned uh, for the season. You ended up the third straight year falling to the Edmonton Oilers. I guess my question for you is, is it more validating to see the team that beat you go all the way to the Stanley Cup final and know that you lost to what ended up being the best team in the Western Conference? Or does it not really matter? Uh doesn't matter really. I mean, obviously, Edmonton is always a good team. They have two of the best players in the league, in the world, uh, should I say. But um, it definitely hurts, though, it's just to see them going all the way. It means that, you know, you, you go through one team, you, you can, you, we don't know what can happen. And um, this year was them again. And uh, obviously, it really uh, um, kind of pissed off here for us. And uh, third, year in your road, third year in a row, like you said. So we have to. Uh, we have a lot of work to do and uh, to counter those two players. Did you watch the Stanley Cup final or are you one of the guys that's like, I, I have no interest, I'll read about it in the paper? Uh, I would like to say I didn't, I didn't watch it, but no, I watched it. <laughs> I watched it and uh, yeah, I mean, obviously for the back-to-back -back, uh, Stanley Cup final, you want to see what happened there. But um, yeah, I always like to watch uh, two of the best team and see where I can get better at and see where our team's at. With so many teams in the NHL making coaching changes during the year, it, it must be a big adjustment. But looking forward, what kind of advantage do you think it will be to have Jim Hiller for a full-on training camp and a coach and a voice that you know is going to be there throughout the season for you guys? Yeah, I think he's going to be more comfortable for sure. We saw a lot of uh, good things from Jimmy, uh, which is why we signed him uh, three more years, I think. And uh, yeah, I think to give him a real chance, uh, to prove himself and uh, as a head coach and uh, bring some uh, new generation type of hockey and uh, maybe a couple of system change and a couple of uh, different things. And um, he's well surrounded with uh, DJ Smith as well. Uh, he was good for us, uh, very loud in the room and good uh, player coach. So, um, yeah, I'm excited to see the future, um, to be honest. So we get July 1's coming around the corner, coming up next week after the draft. That's free agency, obviously. Um, how, uh, how often or how much input from players on each team 
uh, the, the guys have in making their decision to move? Would, would, did, would buddies of yours call up, hey, you know what? Or would coaches call up and say, what do you think of this guy? Is there a lot of that going on behind the scenes, uh, talking with the veterans on each team as to who maybe we should pick up or guys you might know saying, hey, you know what, I was thinking of coming to L.A. What, uh, you know, what do you have to say about that? Or is there a lot of that going on or is that more just the media kind of picking up on it? Uh, more the media, I would say. Sometimes we get reached out from, uh, you know, uh, President or Rob Blake, but it's pretty rare you know they are well surrounded they have uh, all their own opinion uh, they have a lot of guys to say what uh, what they need and what they think they need uh so i don't think uh, uh maybe they reach out to drew dowdy <laughs> <laughs> the kings aren't tampering we know that yeah. they passed the test there we go there you go uh you know we do have the nhl draft coming up in just a couple of days and it got us thinking back to 2011 when you were taken in the first round so what do you remember i think we even have video Pulled it up from the archives. Uh, what do you remember about this experience and this night overall? Uh, I had no beard. That's what I remember. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was so excited. And, uh, not, and I mean, I wanted to be first round, but I was a little surprised, but not at the same time. But uh, I don't know. I was just more than happy to be uh, drafted in the NHL team. It was a. Uh, Definitely a big dream, you know. You work, uh, you work, and uh, when you're a kid, you just have fun. But then at one point, you start working at it, and uh, get better and believing in it and believing yourself. And uh, to see, you know, to get drafted, whether you're first round or seven round, it's just like a dream come true for everyone. That's awesome. Well, thanks so much for taking the time here in your off season to catch up with us. We wish you the best going forward with your training, and can't wait to see you back on the ice this fall.